Hi everyone, this is Anna from VP State Team and today I will show you how to use the new feature from VP Residence 3.6 Hotspot API CRM integration. The first step is to register and then login in your Hotspot account. I will share the register link in the video description, but it is a straightforward step. For those who do not know Hotspot CRM, I will mention that it has all the basic features 100% free. It takes minutes to learn and makes it really easy to track every detail of your business relationship. I am already logged in in my Hotspot account, so first I will go to the menu settings. From the left I will choose Integrations and then API Key. I will create my API Key clicking on Create Key button and then I will copy the key. With my key I go back to Team Options and then I choose CRM Hotspot API Key field. I click right, paste the key, then I enable the option to use Hotspot CRM integration and save. If you add the API Key in Team Options only, you have the integration done for all the team forms which you control as the site administrator. This includes the property page forms, agent page forms, contact page and footer contact form. And I will show you an example for the property page. So as site administrator, you will create all your agents, agencies and developers from VP Admin dashboard. For example, you'll add agents from agents at new. And then you'll go to a property and manually add the agent responsible from agent details. Now I will send a short message to the agent responsible for this property. Next, go back to your HubSpot account and click the Contacts menu. You will see all your new contacts registered here. Click on a name to see the contact details. Now, on the left, you will see the contact first name, last name, email and phone number registered from the team form. From HubSpot CRM options, you can do much more from this point. You can add notes, email the user, call him, uh, add logs, assign him to a different member and so on. Now, on the right, you will see a deal created with the property price and the ticket. The ticket will show all the information from the message, including the source relay. Click on Preview to see the full message. Now, see more. If you will get multiple messages from the same email address, the contact will have all the tickets listed on the right. In HubSpot, you use deals to track potential revenue and you usually create a deal manually when a contact takes an action that could lead to revenue. We consider that each form message is a potential revenue and that is why we create a deal automatically in HubSpot for each message you get. All the deals will be listed on the right side next to ticket for each contact. If you click to see a deal's details, the name includes by default the price value of the property from where the form was sent and the sender name. On the right, you will always see the owner information and the tickets assigned to the contact. Now, HubSpot gives you a lot of options to manage your deals, such as uh, track notes, emails, calls, talks, meetings, and so on. This I will let you discover on your own from your HubSpot account. Now, a deal can go through different stages until it is considered a one sell, and this can be changed in HubSpot. As the fall stage, we consider appointments scheduled when first creating the deal. This you can change by yourself from Hotspot account and I will show you next how. If you go to sales and deals, you'll see all the deals opened in your account and you'll also see all the stages set by default. Now you can go and edit the stages yourself from edit stages. To add a new stage, click on Add, type the name, and that's it. You can use drag and drop to move it around in the order you wish. And if you wish to put as default stage, a stage you created, you just have to click on the details, copy the internal ID. Next, go back to Team Options, and instead of Appointment Scheduled, you paste your custom stage and that's it. As the next option, I will show you how to use Hotspot CRM integration individually 
and let every agent, agency or developer who registers on your site to add their individual API key in their profile. First, you have to go in Team Options and make sure that both Enable Haskell CRM and Enable Haskell CRM option for agents, agencies and developers are active. Then, you save changes. Admin can still use his happy key if he wishes to, but this will apply only for the content he adds from VP Admin dashboard only. As I log in in my agency account, I will see that in my profile I have Hotspot API key field. I go back to my Hotspot account as an agency. I go back to Settings, Integrations, API key. I create a new key. I copy my new key and then I paste it in my profile. All my properties from myself and my agents will register my forms into HubSpot now. As a short example, I will send a message next. In my HubSpot account, the new message will be registered as a new contact, a new ticket and a new deal. In contact, I, I will see the first name, last name, email and phone number from the VP Residence form and on the right I will see the deal created and assigned automatically to the contact as well as the ticket which includes the full message. As a short reminder, VP Residence comes with an extensive VPST CRM plugin which allows agents, agencies and developers to see their leads and contacts in their user dashboard as well. Haspo CRM app integration and the team VP Estate CRM plugin are the most comprehensive features you can get from a real estate team. We hope you enjoyed this video and we invite you to subscribe to the President's YouTube channel to get informed instantly when new videos are published. Thanks for watching.